What's up guys, Brownie Bits here, and we're back in Brownie Land doing some more work in the town of Hollowick. And, um, ooh, look, there's a zombie over there. Let's take him out. Today, we are going to be doing a very special episode, in fact. Um, right now, I'm actually live streaming this, and I'm going to try to do this once a week um, at some point, you know. Um, but I want to do this once a week so that we can get some, some work done in the world, but you can kind of see the behind the scenes of how I kind of handle the uh, the process of making an episode. So I think that's going to be a fun a little exercise, but um, we're going to be working here in um, the, the town center with the actual courtrooms. So that's, that's the plan for today. And um, yeah, I'm excited because this is going to be a lot of fun. Now I think we do need some lighting up in here so that we don't get completely bombarded. I'll make that kind of a... interesting pattern here okay so what we want to do today we want to give it some good space here but we're going to make one of the courtrooms now this is one of the smaller courtrooms I think that's going to be of course I did not bring what I, I needed to bring <laughs> so as as we did with the um, packaging area where we have our storage room we're going to use jungle wood as a um, as a chair. One, two, three, and then we do a this number and like that. So that's the plan for today. Yeah, that's looking good. And then we do want to have some gates here, which I don't know if I actually brought the gates. I might have to make some, but we'll, we'll kind of figure it out as we go along. We do want it here. Or what we could do is actually move this over and do it here. Okay. And then this is going to be the jury land. And what I'm going to do is, nope, that's not what I wanted. Grr. Guess I'm going to have to take this down. <laughs> okay, come on. Actually, you know what? what we can do is that, and then this will be super easy. So they have their own, well, I guess, I guess it really didn't, they really didn't have like desks and jury. Yeah. Cause it would be the, uh, where, where did I put, that is going to be an interesting little thing. Ah, there we go. Okay. I guess it really doesn't matter. Does it? Okay. Come on. Jump over. Okay. So they have. A way to get up to these chairs and then what we'll do actually you know what we could probably even do this number here yeah and we need some lighting up over here so we'll put some of this here like that on either side yeah that'll do okay and then I'm thinking we will kind of block off the jury area like this and then we want a table for the lawyers and the, uh, the people on trial and everything so that's going to be the acacia to kind of contrast against everything so they have their their stuff there okay and then we're going to do the judges area. Let's actually do this number here. And 
In fact, what we could probably do is actually just one down. Yeah, that'll be better, I think. Um, we'll do this, and then we will do uh, this number. Looking very good. Okay. So that'll do. We can do this. So it looks like there's, well, maybe not. I don't know. I think that'll, I think that could be fine. We could even, we could even turn this to where, oops. Yeah, that'll be better. And then there's the judge sitting up there. And then right behind, or I guess right in front of where the judge would walk would be the booth. Actually, let's move this over. Let's definitely move this over. So we'll do this. And this is where a witness or somebody that's been called to the stand would sit. That way they can provide a testimony. And we'll do even that number. So they're kind of, you know, it's locked in, I guess you could say. Yeah. Perfect. I think that's going to be our courtroom here. Our first courtroom, at least. It looks very nice. I love it. I love it. Okay. And then we do need some lighting in here. And I'll, I'll go through and, like, actually put down carpets and that stuff. Um, but for now, we got some some wall lighting and everything. Okay. And then, now here's a big question. We can have it to where, because I believe this is like the center of the room. This is going to be a major courtroom. Or actually, you know what? No, this won't be a courtroom at all. What we'll do is we'll make this like the hall of patrons in here. So this is where all the patrons um, will be, you know, located. We'll have um, something. I don't know how we're going to design this yet. And then we're going to have offices in here, I believe. So like lawyers' offices and that stuff. And then one thing we do want is back in here, this is going to be the kitchen, and this is a little sneaky way to get down to our little villager breeder down here, which is actually behind that, but, yep, looking good. And there's, there's the, the way to get the door working. Okay, so this is going to be a kitchen. And then I haven't really decided in here yet. We have to decide on that. And then this is going to be the other courtroom. Not, not very big, but big enough. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get some work done on this courtroom and then kind of figure out how I'm going to do that other um, space, uh, this the big Patreon hall in here. Um, and then I will be right back to kind of get some more work done in this town hall. All right, guys, and we are back here. So I've kind of got the idea for our little hall of patrons here. Um, let me know if you guys like it, and we will induct all of these. I've got one more, but I don't remember what the name is, is. so I'm sorry to uh, that person that I'm missing here, but we'll get you, we'll get you inaugurated here very soon. Um, I'm not ready. I'm not sold on that design yet. I do want to kind of make it look a little bit more grand and everything, and then as you can see over here, we I basically just kind of copied and pasted this courtroom over here um, because I don't think it's really all that necessary to have a crazy 
you know, design on those. Um, well, I mean, we'll, we'll make it look a little bit nicer. Um, but I don't think it's something that we need to do, you know, super crazy with. Um, I'm actually going to go back over here because I forgot to grab it. Can I please fly? Thank you. And we will slide in here. What was I grabbing? I don't remember what I was... Oh, yeah. No, I remember now. Okay. We're good. We are good. Let's grab... I do not need a stack of these, but I will grab all but one. Now, did I... Yeah, okay. Definitely do not need a stack of those. Those... Oof, not exactly needing. Um, hmm. I do think, do we not have, I don't, I probably don't have any quartz yet. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that'll be good. Block quartz. Block quartz. Okay. And then uh, I guess quartz can go in there. Okay. And I think we want some of this. That's probably way more than needed. And then this is going to look a lot more like the type of countertops that you really want to use. That's a bone block. Okay, I think that's good for now. Let's get flying back on over there. And we will work on, oh my gosh, I totally missed. I can't believe I did that. So we'll get back here to the a kitchen. Um, so what I'm thinking, I'm thinking we're going to have, you know, like do, 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 do. And then do to do to do to do, do. Maybe we might do this instead. Oh, wow, I'm way off on that one. Jeez. <laughs> so what we would do here then, we'll probably put it like right there. There we go. So we've got this hood going on, I believe. Now, the thing about it is, I don't necessarily like this. We probably do want to put like a light in that spot right there. You know, like, I mean, a torch obviously is not, but probably a sea lantern or glowstone. Or a redstone lamp would work too, but we'd have to find a way to power it. Anyways, let's go, oops, let's go ahead and get all the burners on this round. There we go. Okay, so we got that. Um, I think we can do something like so. I think that'll work, yeah. Okay, so we've got like a cooking surface here. 
And I do want to have, we'll have like prep tables over here or, you know, something along those lines. That actually worked out perfectly. We don't want to do that. Okay. And then one thing we can do we'll do another large table here. Yeah, and that'll be another like prepping station, maybe a cold area. Yeah, and that'll be that would be good. And then we do want some sink. We'll have I think we could do something like like this or maybe one over. Actually, you know what? We'll want that there. And then we'll do that. Yeah. Perfect. And we'll have that there. Okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. And I don't have any cauldrons, do I? Nope. Okay. Let me get back on over there. And nice. Slide in. Cauldrons. Where would I have put cauldrons? Right in there. And then we do want some levers. Actually, what we'll probably do is weighted pressure plates. And then since I don't have any more, nope, rockets on me, we need to grab some of those. There we go. And boom, okay. Boom, boom, and boom. And then we will have the levers facing down into them. Now this is our, you know, actually, you know what? Let's move this out a little bit, like a so. And what we could do is even do one of these numbers. Yeah, so that looks like a, a more significant prep table. And then we're going to have plate, plate, you know, chopping areas and all that. Okay, perfect. And then we'll maybe put in like one or two here, one or two here. You know, that way there's, you know, somewhere for them to actually prepare some of that stuff. Okay. So guys, I think that's about it for me on this episode. Let me go ahead and get together with the book um, so that we have the comment of the day. I will, uh, I will be right back once I've got that co collected. And guys, we are back looking at a squid that has found its way underneath of our light. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this this has been a fun episode. We've gotten some good work done on that area. I'm going to work on the second and third floors, um, maybe in some live streams or that. So if you want to catch a live stream or want to catch one of these types of live streams where I kind of do behind the scenes of how I record, uh, definitely follow me on twitch.tv slash browniebits underscore gaming. That link is down in the description below. So definitely come check me out there and we can have some fun 
live. Okay, now let's jump into the comments. The last episode was the major doc over there. So, Clay, Klatos, Klatos? I, I don't know how you would say that name. Klatos, I think. Maybe Klatos is probably the most. But uh, he says, nice. Are you going to build a cargo ship in there? And I actually replied to this comment, but I do plan on building a cargo ship in there. And I want to build some ships on the water, some fishing vessels and some other ships at some point. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it done by the world download, but we're going to try to. It's coming up very quickly. Dennis Gaming, who's a very good friend of the channel, says, Great video. Looking forward to seeing how the docks turn out. Yeah, I'm excited too, because once we get some extra boats in there, it's going to really turn out to be a pretty awesome little section. And then Paragraph 8, oh my gosh, Paragraph 8 says, Glad to hear you are doing better again. Are the additional sounds a resource pack thing you have? made for a really cool experience. And yes, they are. For those of you that do not know, I've mentioned this a couple times, but um, it's always fun to, to kind of notice that. But it is, it is a mod pack, um, or a, a mod um, called um, Ambient Sounds 2.0 is what it's called, Ambient Sounds 2.0. I'll actually leave a link to that pack, or to that mod, down in the description below of this video. For those of you that want to download it, it really does add a lot. Um, it adds some wonderful sounds at night, adds some wonderful sounds in different biomes. You can hear the crow cawing right now, hopefully, if I've got everything correct. But yeah, that's that's a really awesome uh, mod that I actually personally absolutely love, and I don't want to ever play without it. So um, Ambient Sounds 2.0 is what that is called. But thank you for all of those that did uh, comment on the video. Um, and for those of you that do watch my videos, I really do appreciate it. It's, it's, it does mean a lot. Um, and it does help me kind of build, um, build my channel and build how, how, you know, well I do. And this is missing a trap door. <laughs> um, but it really builds my skills and everything. So I do appreciate it as well as all of those that are listening in on this live stream currently. Um, again, this is part of one of my new live stream uh, themes, I guess you could say, uh, ways I'm going to live stream is actually be showing you behind the scenes of a video recording. And um, thank you to all of those people that did come out for this live stream. Um, and that are still currently watching me. I do appreciate you guys, and it has been a great fun to do this, and I definitely will be doing this again. Hopefully, we can do this once a week. But guys, thank you again. I hope you enjoyed. You can find me on Twitter, at BrownieBits450. You can also find me on Patreon, Twitch, and here on YouTube. Thank you guys again, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye